Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making an egg collecting apron. So let's get started. And I do have the list of the measurements of the fabrics in the description box below. I start preparing the fabric for the straps, one for the neck and two for the waistline. And begin sewing with a 1 4th inch seam allowance and just leave an opening for turning. And once sewn, turn and iron. And now I like to top stitch with the 1 8 inch seam allowance. Next step is to prepare the apron pocket for sewing. And once the fabric has been pinned, I like to mark approximately 5 inches and that will be where we're not going to sew so we can turn the pocket right side out. Trim corners and turn. And iron to prepare for top stitching. Now I begin top stitching all the way around one eighth of an inch. And now I'm going to start making the pleating for the egg pocket. What I've done is use a little cord board out of a bias tape package. Mark it down to one and a quarter inches wide, and I use that as my template guide. I begin by using the measurement of two inches from the left, and that's where I put my board, and then I fold in and pin and repeat. After my first pleating, then I measure four inches, mark and pleat and repeat.
and then I place the pockets from the center two inches up from the bottom and then two inches apart and then sew. And then I measure in the center of each pleat and then sew and that will be the division of the pockets. For the straps, I measure in one half of an inch. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Attach the straps with pins and sew. And be sure to reinforce stitching over the straps. Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us And then trim and now pin on the lining fabric. Even in the hard time, you and I can weather any storm. Now mark an opening approximately four to five inches where we're not going to sew so we can turn the apron right side out. And I do use approximately one fourth inch seam allowance. And also reinforce stitching over the straps. Remove pins, trim corners, and turn.
thin now for the corners, but I like to use as a dowel rod. We're preparing it for top stitching. And I do like to iron the apron prior to top stitching because it makes the seams lay nice and flat. And I've also attached in the iCart the Christmas in July series has a lot of great holiday gift ideas. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy sewing, and see you next time.